forget to like comment and share with all your friends as well and in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe as well and do hit that bell icon as well for all the notifications from digital e-learning on my upcoming next videos now let us see uh, take an example here suppose managers are preparing a budget for their technical support and they want to see is there any seasonal trend or pattern from the data and uh, what type of report we can say if we generate the report day by day and we take data from say February 22nd onwards. So we will use this data which is able, available to us to analyze the manager's query here. So let's go to first of all go to uh, data. We'll create a subset of this worksheet. And here the first requirement was that he wants to see the data post February 22nd onwards. So we will write the name in the name column here February 22, 2010 onwards. Right. And in the under specify which rows to include, we will write the condition. So your condition would be click on the call date greater than equal to date so date would be 2 slash 22 slash 2010 and then you click ok it will create a separate worksheet or subset of worksheet now from this sub, uh, subset of the worksheet if we want to extract data that uh, what are these days monday or tuesday and so that we can exclude saturday and sunday so let's see how we can do that from this data we will go to stats again go to date and time go to extract to text here so what we do here we will click on call data column which is a c1 and we want to show the text in which column so we want to say we will write here week days week days so it includes your all seven days and we will click on day of the week click ok it add another column and will show that this day was saturday and this day was tuesday right but our aim was to figure out that if we have to remove the weekends because they are weekends as well, Saturday and Sunday. So we again go to data, create another subset of this worksheet, and we will say February 27 onwards, excluding weekends. Right? This is so this is how we specify the text. So in this case, what we will do is not instead of uh, specify which rows to include we will specify which to exclude again we will write that condition over here go back to this we will select our weekdays right equal to so we will write equal to here so and then you have to double colon saturday close double colon or you can again click here or weekdays space equal to double colon Sunday and that's it so that with this formula you have to again go back to and click OK so it will now it will show me only those data uh, subset of worksheet which have uh, which are 22nd Feb February 22nd onwards excluding weekends this is the data which has been extracted uh, it has only your week uh, weekdays and it is February 22nd onwards. So now that you have this uh, data where you have segregated data from entire list and it is February 22nd, 2010 onwards, excluding weekends. Now we need to interpret this data to see if there are any trends here or not. So what do we do? We will use the time series plot here. Normally, the time series plot indicates that there may be change, a cyclic change during the time period. 
So the time series plot is mostly appropriate when the data are collected at the fixed interval in your process. And in this application, if you note that the X axis is not the true time cycle, but the sequence of data collection. So we'll go to graph here to create time series plot. Click on time series plot here. Click simple, then click OK. Here, select the incident. And as you select the incident, just click OK here. So it will give us a time series plot of all the incidents for that particular data, subset of data, what we have selected per bit 20 second onwards, excluding Saturday and Sunday. Now, uh, if you, uh, so from this pattern, you have to analyze that at from February 2010 onwards, the number of incidents have increased. And uh, again, the maximum it has gone in 2011, where it was 181 on 6th, 8th of June 2011. And again, it is a little bit increasing. So probably you can do a root cause analysis to find out why there was a certain shift of increase from 2009 to 2010, the number of reported incidents. That is one way of analyzing the data.